Hello everyone, welcome to day two of our free fitness challenge. This, is, this week is all about toning and every single day I'm using a different piece of equipment that you may have at home, you may have got as Christmas present, you may have kicking around in your garage, spare room. Dig those things out, we want to make the best use of them this week. So every single week we're doing different exercises to challenge your body and it's all about toning. I'm Jenny, here's your online personal trainer, coaching you, teaching you, taking you through the whole workout. As I said, we'll do between 10 to 15 minutes of exercise, which is just purely focused on exercise, as you can see, using a step. If you've got a retro old step kicking around, lots and lots of you have, I know. Get them out, take all your clothes off them, get them out into your lounge, wherever you're exercising, and let's start using them. So we're gonna start off today with a bit of a warm up. And then in various exercises you can use to do toning, stretching, a bit of a workout. Now if you don't have a step, you can use your bottom stair. You can use um, a step, a curb outside, where if you've got a patio outside, you can use that out there. You can use uh, maybe a chair or a bed for the low, for the higher things. We do some dips, we do some press ups. You can use anything else that you can think of. Just make sure it's safe for you can climb and stand on that kind of thing. So should we get going? Bit of a warm up then, and we start off nice and easy. We're gonna step up and down, just nice. You're gonna get the heart rate up, get the muscles moving. So you can do this on your bottom stair, okay? And all these workouts and the whole, my whole program are designed that you can easily do at home. It takes minimal equipment, minimal time, but all about being really super effective and more importantly, you can do it, that you can do it consistently. That's what gets results. That's what I say in every single video. That's the thing that gets results. Last one on this leg, I'm gonna change legs. Take it up on the other side. I'm gonna work out with me, join in with me. I'm doing it in real time. I'm gonna do all the timing for you. I'm gonna step up and down, up and down. Okay, we're gonna do two more this side. Last one. And now we'll change legs again. We'll leave one foot on. I want you to use your tummy muscles and we'll drive that knee up and down. Lift up and down and balance. <laughs> Lift and lower. Lift and lower. It's a really nice one. It's the top of the thighs. Get the tummy muscles working. And the brain has to know what muscles we're working. So it has to get that connection going on. This is what we're doing in the warm up. We're prepping the body, ready for action. We'll do one more. Change legs. So, same again. Another leg on. And lift up and down. Lifting and lowering. Get that knee up as high as you can. Use your arms as well. Get the whole body working. Get the blood flowing around the body. Nice and high. Should we feel a little bit warmer by now? Okay, let's do four more this side. Four, three, two, whoops, and one. Lovely. All right, I'm going to turn my step sideways onto you. There we go. Now I'm going to step off side to side now. So we're going to come up. We're going to come down to the side and back on. Let's get through those hips, inner thighs, outer thighs. Nice big step across. Okay, if you do this on your stair, just do one side. Then the other side, take it across, up and down, up and down. Everyone feeling good so far? So we're doing a little warm up. This is the last one of our warm up before we hit our toning exercises. And I say, some people got these steps kicking around from years ago, you know, 1980s, 90s. Step aerobics was really big. I'm using a step rebot myself. <laughs> Two more here. Last one. All right, good job. Okay. Now for our first exercise then. We're gonna go for a lunge on the short step again. Bottom step. If you're out and about running around, doing this later, onto a curb if it's safe. So we're gonna step. Nice big lunge forwards and backwards. So use the step to raise that foot up. Get more stretch on those hip flexors through the quads. Now keep that shoulder, those shoulders back. Chest up. Toe muscles engaged for me. Now this one, as you can tell, works your bum. 
thighs, inner thighs. Just out nice and straight. And again, like always, you can do mini steps here or go down a bit lower. Make it a bit more challenging. Get a bit more bang for your buck on this one. If your knees are good, get a little bit lower. Nice stretch through those thighs. What I really like about some of the exercises we're going to be doing, particularly this one, we're stretching and working our muscles at the same time. So lengthening, strengthening, that's where the magic is. That's where it works. Overall, we want flexibility, mobility, and strength. Let's do four more lunges here. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. You warm now. You feel it yet? All right, so next exercise down to the floor. Now, a lot of cushion for your knees. So we're going to do hands on our bench. We're going to do some press ups. We're going to use the bench for some push ups. So hands on our bench, a little bit wide in the shoulder width, okay? Engage your tummy muscles without options. You can have your knees under your hips. Bring your chest down and up. And your chest kind of just touching your bench. Again, bottom stair works perfectly for this. Or you can come a bit further back, lift your feet off the floor. You want the fleshy part of your knees here. And then you're going to come down and push up. Down and push up. Are we ready to go? Three, two, one, let's go. Down and push. Now visualize on this one, pushing, the, pushing your bench, push the world away from you. It's a much stronger visualization than trying to push you away from the world. Push the world away from you. Strong on those arms, strong on those shoulders. Will you stay with me? Keep working. If this is getting a bit difficult, do bring your knees in. Do bring them a bit easier. Up and down. That's fine too. We're going for 10 seconds more here. 10 seconds push ups. A bit warm now, aren't you? One more rep. Very nice. Okay, just a little stretch on those arms. As in the beginning, all about toning. All right, we're going to swizzle around. Again, bottom stair, perfect for this. If you haven't got, you want to use a bench or a chair or your bed. All of that works brilliantly. We're here with tricep dips, back of arms, okay? So we have our fingers forward. And we drop down. Down and then push up. Now, my step's not very deep. That's okay. If you're on a chair, so much the better. Bed, that works good too. Down and push, down and push. Elbows pointing backwards and the back of our arms. This is quite tough. Drop it down. We go for 10 more repetitions now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Lovely. Again, give those arms a bit of a stretch. All right, we're coming back up again. Now, I'm going to do some squats. So I'm going to sit down on my bench. I'm going to stand up. Now, this is quite low. I'm fine doing it if I do it on a chair. Grab a dining room chair, do it on a bed. That's great too. A bit more challenging, sit down on your low bench. Really hitting the thighs, bottom, inner thighs, lower tummy muscle. Are we ready? Three, two, one. We're going to sit down. Just tap the bottom on your bench and stand back up again. Down and lift. Down and lift. Getting strong on those legs. All the way down. Now breathe out as you push up. Push. Push. Keep that back up nice and straight. Now, if you're finding, as you go down lower, you're having to curve forwards, don't go as low, just do mini ones. That's fine. Okay, down, if you can, down and up. A bit more challenging. Give you various options here, so to do everyone. Just when you use your stuff, you've got it in the garage, spare room, let's use it. Let's use it to get fitter, stronger. Because it's going to give you so many ideas. 
what you can do. We do five more squats here. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Stay, stay standing. All right. So the next one we do. We do another squat. This time we have one foot on the bench. Bottom stair works brilliantly for this one. Or any kind of, you've got any blocks, you can put your foot in the block. That's brilliant too. We're going to go down to staggered squats. So we're here like this. All right. And you're going to be a bit of a breather. And then we do the same on the other side as well. So give me 10 seconds rest. Can we go again? Everyone feeling good? This is a bit of a whole body workout. Okay. Three. Two, one, let's go down for our staggered squats then, up and down, and squeeze. Bit more challenging on those thighs. Nicely offset the muscles. Working muscles different ways. Because that's when the body gets used to working in the different, working the same way. The body gets really, really good at that, it gets really effective, really efficient, sorry, at doing that exercise. But what we're trying to do is challenge it, change it up. Make it more interesting. Shock the body is doing something else. If you plateaued, just forget you going again. We're doing four more here. Four, three, two. Stick that thumb out. One, come up. Do the same on the other side. Do the same again. Up and down. Squeeze. Squeeze. Lovely. Keep it going now. Squeeze it up. Let's do four more here. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to do one more exercise. And then we hit the arms again. So what we're going to do is this. Again, bottom step works really well. We're going to walk our hands up and down. Start with our right arm leading. So we're starting the floor. I'm going to walk up and down. Now, this is quite easy for some. If you want to come up onto your toes and do it here, you can do that. Right arm leading. Or you can stay on the knees. You can choose. Whatever suits you. Again, your effort level, your workout. And after this last exercise, we do a little stretch. You're pleased to know. All right, let's do two more here on the right hand. And we're going to change over. Left, same up. Up and down. Up and down. Keep it going. Again, nice challenge those arm muscles. We're going to top of our arms. And we're doing three more repetitions. Three, two, and one. Okay, stay your hands on there. Bring your knees in, sit back, and stretch. Nice stretch through those arms, through back muscles. That feels good stretch, doesn't it, after exercising them. Very good, all right, come up. We're gonna use the step again for another stretch. Put your foot up on, the, on your step, toe up, hips facing forwards, we're gonna lean forwards and stretch the back of our legs, stretch out those hamstrings. A little rest there. Lengthen those muscles. And there's so many more things we can do with the step, so many. Coming up, change sides. I hope that gives you a little few ideas to get you going, get you on this, on this five day challenge. And I always try and do different exercises as well, you know, try new things. If I use a bit of equipment this week you haven't got, you can get it off Amazon really easily, really quickly. Okay, stand on the step, toes facing forward, put your weight on the front foot, drop the heel back, let's stretch out our calf muscles. Which is really nice and so lengthen down the back of that thigh, back of the uh, calf muscle. And hold that stretch. And changing over. Again, as I said, all these workouts are designed to be short, simple, effective, 
that you can do, you can fit into your day really, really easy. It doesn't take an awful lot of time. But focus exercises with precision, with purpose, is exactly what we want. All right, we're gonna do a quad stretch, then hold onto a wall or a side if you need to. Hold onto your foot, squeeze those knees together. Stretch out the quads, front of the thighs. Stand up straight. Oops. And swap over, same on the other leg. Oops, get your balance. And lovely, relax that leg over, cross over, stretch out our shoulders and deltoid muscles. And that was a really nice full body workout, works a lot of muscles there, the thighs, glutes, hamstrings, inner thighs, shoulders, triceps. Take the arm across. Hopefully you're hot and sweaty like me. And let's stretch our far triceps and take the elbow back. Take it back overhead. And change arms. Little, little stretch, finish us off. And then taking the arm back. Little stretch in the chest muscles. Little stretch all across the front of the chest. All right, last one then. Deep stretch all the way up, stretch the whole body. And relax. Give it a clap. Well done. That was fantastic. Well, congratulations, everyone. That was day two of the fitness challenge. All about toning using pieces of equipment you might have at home. Don't forget, let me know how you get on. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you again tomorrow for another workout for the toned challenge week. Have a great day.